Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Tamlin and this is Sewn on the Tine and welcome back to another Friday Sews. Today is Friday the 16th of September. I'm going to just fill you in today on what I've been up to over the last few days, what sewing things I've been doing, maybe a couple of things I've bought and some plans for the week ahead. If you're interested in what I'm wearing, this is one of my most worn garments ever. It's a grey jumper but it is the Jackson Pullover by Helen's Closet, which is a unisex pattern. It can be made as a t-shirt or as a long sleeved sweater, which mine is. I'm in a sort of casual vibe today because this morning I've been to a lovely new outdoor play group with Taylor. So it's like very, well, today wasn't muddy, but it's like, there's a fire pit. There's, it's all outdoors, basically mud kitchens, leaves and sand and all sorts of things. So it was just nice to be casual vibes and Ziggy's about to jump up on my knee. So yes, I just thought I'd throw this on with a layer underneath, leggings, trainers, high zigs, and Taylor absolutely loved it. It's about a 20 minute drive from our house. So it's a in a lovely little village called Riding Mill, which is near Hexham in the Northeast. And it was just really, really lovely. And we'll definitely be going back. It's on every Friday morning from 9.15 until 11. So we'll definitely be going back. Not next week, because Taylor's at nursery next Friday, but we will be going back the following week. Hopefully you've seen a couple of pictures of Taylor enjoying the session this morning. And it's made me really inspired to want to make him some outdoorsy style clothes. So things for when it is a bit more muddy and wet, he's gonna need waterproof things and warm things and mummy can make them for him so I'm feeling inspired. I'll share those ideas with you further down the line. In terms of what's been going on this week, so last week's video I asked for recommendations for an aquarium to take Taylor to and a couple of people recommended the deep in Hull and we looked it up and it looked perfect. So off we went to the deep on Sunday and Taylor just had the best time. He wore his new t-shirt, one of the four new t-shirts that I've made from in the last couple of weeks. He looked adorable and he absolutely loved seeing the jellyfish and the ray and the sharks and yeah, he really, really enjoyed it. So thank you so much for recommending The Deep, those people that did. We loved it and we'll definitely be going back. It's great because if you pay your admission fee the first time, that gives you free entry for a year so we can go back as many times as we want. So we definitely will do that. There's somebody at the door, I'll be back. Sorry about that little interlude <laughs> and apologies if the lighting has changed or anything or my position has changed. I moved. <laughs> that was actually something quite exciting at the door which I will share with you. Should I share with you now or later? Hmm. I'll share with you later in the video. So other than going to the deep in Hull on Sunday, I've had a busy week at work and quite a lot of that was to do with the collaboration video that myself, Ruan and Rachel put out earlier this week. So we are doing a lovely collaboration together. We're all going to be sewing up a loungewear suit using the Mile End and Plateau patterns from Closet Core. And we're using fabric that's been provided by First for Fabrics, which is where I work. And we put our videos out on Monday and then it's generated lots of orders. So I've been busy this week packing all of those orders at work. I also had a lovely Zoom chat with Rachel and Ruan on Monday night and cut out my lounge suit. So the fabrics I'm using, if you haven't seen that video, are viscose French cherries. This is the rose colourway and then I'm colour blocking that with the violet colourway. These are just the scraps left over. So I'm going to have a beautiful loungewear suit using these two fabrics. So do head over and watch that video if you haven't seen it and Rachel and Ruan's videos as well. Unfortunately, First of Fabrics do only post to the UK currently because of various reasons. So if you are outside of the UK, you won't be able to order, but Hopefully you can still enjoy the content. I've also been working on my Calvin wrap dress by True Bias, which I think I've shared a couple of times. So I'm making this dress here, which is just this beautiful wrap dress with thin straps. They're adjustable. They've got um, strap sliders, like bra strap 
adjusters <laughs> on and the fabric I'm using is this beautiful viscose from First for Fabrics and I'm almost finished this all I need to do is hem it it's upside down so yeah the hem is just raw at the bottom so what I need to do is try this on decide on the length that I want it and then hem it and then it's ready and I'm actually going to wear this tomorrow I'm going out for brunch well it's afternoon brunch it's like a bottomless brunch for my friend's birthday so I'm going to wear this dress they've got long ties on and every time I get this dress out to work on it Ziggy starts to play with the straps so yes I'll be hemming that and then wearing that and I'll share photos on my Instagram and then next week I'll talk to you a little bit more about the fit and how happy I am with it or not and I'll share photos for you then. So that's it in terms of what I've actually been sewing. I have picked up a couple of fabrics this week which I'll share with you now. Two of those are for Taylor because as mentioned he's got a, a big <laughs> obsession with sea life at the moment. So I picked him up this jellyfish cotton jersey from work and I'm going to make him just the Brindlin twig baggy fit tee again. That's just my favourite pattern for him at the moment. He's going to love that. He will love it. And then we've also got this loop back French terry. And I'm going to just make him a jumper out of this. It's going to be the Brindlin twig vintage sweatshirt. So again, he's just going to absolutely love that. And I had a bit of a dilemma trying to decide what colour to get for the ribbing, for like the neckband and cuffs and everything. But in the end, I decided to go with this lovely ochre colour because it picks out quite a lot of the fish. I could have gone with a lovely bright blue, but I think I'm happy with my choice. So again, I should be able to share those with you next week. I'll leave links to those fabrics down below as well in case you're interested. I also did pick up one fabric for myself as well, which is again from work. This is a viscose fabric. It's got this beautiful floral design on, on a black background and then the flowers and leaves are green, white and pink. Just thought it's a really unique colour combination, but it works really well together. So this was a remnant that came off a bolt and we were going to flat, which is where you get a big roll of fabric and you put it onto a flat board. So we were going to flat more of the fabric, but there was this little remnant on the end. I think it's 1.6 or 1.8 meters. And I thought I'll buy that and it'll be perfect for a dress that I want to make. And that is the Dolce Slip Dress by Law PR. Oh, Laurie PR. I'm really sorry. I don't actually know how to pronounce the name of that pattern company. But if anybody else does, please do let me know. It's a beautiful slip dress. I think I might make the mini version. And I think that is just going to be perfect. I possibly will wear that when I go for dinner for my mum's birthday later this month. Or I've actually got quite a few social things over the next couple of months. So it'll, it'll do for one of those occasions that I've got coming up. <laughs> Again, I'll link to this fabric if you are interested in that. In terms of sewing plans for the week ahead, I have my Wednesday afternoon Sew Tune social sewing sessions. And the next one is on the 21st of September. So that's Wednesday afternoon coming up. And I think I've got five, no, five, six, seven. I think there are seven more before Christmas or before the end of the year anyway. And I've decided I'm going to start a project at the next one and only work on that at my Wednesday afternoon sew tunes and I'm hoping that over the course of the seven afternoons that I've got between now and the end of the year that I'll start this project and get it finished and have something wonderful to wear at the end of it and the project I'm going to be working on is very much inspired by Emma from So Do It Emma and Adele from Sofa Serenity and their recent collaboration which was to make the Carol in Pyjamas by Closet Core Patterns I want to make some because I really enjoyed their videos and seeing their versions and hearing them talk about the patterns and I want my own gorgeous pair of luxurious pyjamas. I often tend to just throw on a pair of jogging bottoms and any random t-shirt I can find so it'd be nice to have something a little bit more put together to wear over the festive period and beyond. So that's what I'm going to do. 
So the fabric I'm going to use for my Carolyn pyjamas is this beautiful double gauze that came in a recent So Hayley Jane box. So it's a lovely blue background with these gold speckles all over. And I've got two and a half metres of this. I'm thinking I'll make the short sleeved top. And then if I've got enough fabric for the long sleeve trousers, I'll make those. But if not, it might have to be the shorts. I think it is quite a fabric hungry pattern. So I'll just see how I get on. I'll start cutting out the short sleeve top because that's the version that I'd like to make for the top half and then just see what I've got left for the bottom half. I also am going to use piping and I've got quite a bit of gold piping in my stash that I bought for another project a year or so ago and then I never actually used. So that's going to go perfectly with this fabric and I'm going to have my own gorgeous pair of Carolyn pyjamas. So if you are a fellow sew tuner and you come to the Wednesday afternoon sessions and you would like to sew along with me and make your own pair of Carolyn pyjamas, why don't you? You can join me and it can be like a little sew along. So yes, I'm really excited to make those and I'll be making a start this week. And in my Friday sews videos, I'll update you each week with where I've got to with that project. If you've got any advice or anything for me for working on that, do let me know down below. Right, I think I'll show you my exciting thing that just arrived in the post. So you might know, you probably know that I do work with Prim. They send me quite a lot of their products to use at my socials and for my own personal sewing. They also provide things that I can give people as gifts at my socials, which is really nice. So I've got quite a good relationship with them and they emailed me a couple of weeks ago to say, we're sending you our brand new advent calendar. At this point, I didn't even realise they had an advent calendar. So that was really exciting. So they have actually sent me a couple of these advent calendars, one for myself and then one that I'm going to be gifting as a giveaway prize. I'm not going to announce that in this video because I need to go and figure out the details of that. But coming up soon, I will share in a video how you could possibly win the prim advent calendar so let's have a look at it ah oh, so here it is so it's called merry somus limited edition prim have a colorful christmas time with prim so it says the advent calendar for all scissors jugglers needle tamers and thread dancers and it comes in this really lovely box and then i'll give you a little bit of the information from the back. It says Christmas time this year is all about your personal interpretation of happiness is handmade. We are celebrating the Christmas season, normally a rather quiet time with colour and noise. Anything goes. Let's celebrate a colourful Somus. The Somus advent calendar will surprise you with 24 fancy sewing gadgets which are indispensable for DIY and upcycling projects. So what I really like as well is that the packaging is recyclable and actually it decays in soil. It can be used for potting compost and seeds and become like a flower bed. It's really cool, really exciting. And it actually includes flower seeds within this advent calendar, which is really nice. So you can use those. It does have a list on the back of everything that's included. I'm not going to read all of that out because if anybody does want to purchase it, I don't want to spoil the surprise for you. But let me read out a couple of the things that are in it. Actually, no, I'm not going to read out anything that's in it because I really don't want to ruin the surprise for anyone. Although I've just kind of ruined it for myself. But let me just say that the contents list on the back sounds really fantastic really really cool so if you want to get your hands on one of these you can purchase these i know minerva have them and also i saw that guthrie and garney are stocking them as well so you could purchase your own through either of those websites or stay tuned possibly next week's video or a video coming soon where i will be giving one of these away so thank you very much prim for sending me those just to mention as well, if you are UK based, that First for Fabrics, where I work, have put together an advent calendar too, and that went live on the website this week for you to place your pre-order. And I have inside information about what is in there, and I think it's really, really fantastic, and it's great value too. You save a lot of money on the contents 
than if you were to purchase them separately and there's a real good mix of things in there so there are prim goodies in there but there's also other things there's again I'm not going to ruin any surprises but I would highly recommend it if I didn't work there and know everything that was in it I would be purchasing one myself so I will leave a link to that down below as well and yeah I'd definitely recommend the first for fabrics advent calendar right I think that might be all I've got to share with you today so just a quick one I say a quick one it's about 18 minutes long <laughs> So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed hearing about what I've been getting up to this week and what my plans are for the week ahead. Do leave me a comment down below. Have a little chat with me. Let me know if you like what I've shared or if you've sewn any of the patterns I've mentioned or just have a little chat. I always love to hear from you. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you again soon in my next video. Happy sewing. Bye. I think it is quite a fabric hungry. The packaging is all recycling. Recycling. <laughs> it's about a 20... Hmm.